Okay, so at the start of this season, I had 11,300 legend points. Uh, well, you need like 12,000 points or something like that to get the new legend. So I thought, yeah, it'd be pretty easy, you know, just go into a few games, level up a bit, won't be too bad. Yeah, it turns out uh, Apex had a little bit of a problem with their level up system. Yeah, but the following fixed it, and uh, yeah, now I've got 14,000 or something like that. So I can finally, after way too long, uh, unlock Vantage. Uh, yeah. Might as well quit this skin because I couldn't until now. It's probably on my only skin as well, considering that one is original, so yeah. Uh, considering Vantage is like the new character for the season, I'm surprised that it's, uh, well, with the battle pass, it's 33 and 59 to get her wins and kills. I was going to equip those if I had them, but considering I'm only 11, yeah, I can't so far. Anyway, I guess one thing I'm going to do, uh, go into the firing range or something like that, because, yeah, there's a few things I want to talk about, and also show you the legend, I guess. Well, her first pass it was something like that. All I need is a weapon that can take, like, medium range optics or sniper or something like that. Um... How about I just show the, you the abilities that I'll have my thoughts on her. Uh, seen a couple of people's gameplay and yeah. So yeah, um, apparently this is a drop off thing or something like that, but I don't know if it works. But you can see like, um, it's a dummy or something like that and how far away they are. I guess that's like the drop off thing maybe. Um, not sure. Let's say each one of these were 100 meters or something like that, so... Yeah, I don't know how it works. Okay, that one over there should be the furthest... Oh, it's over there. Uh, 100 meters. What is the drop-off on these optics? I've never learnt it, so I can't really tell you about it. Alright, so one thing I can't really show on here, um, so if you're in a team thing or something like that, well, the person have, has other players, you can see what colour shields they have and what colour shields their team has or something like that. Uh, you have to be in game because apparently the dummies don't exactly uh, show that. Okay, next one is the bad or something like that. Go get it. Okay, so I've heard something that apparently uh, the bat's um, indestructible or something like that. Uh, you can't kill the bat or something. Um, Let's find a good perch. I thought there was something to change location, or do you have to recall it every time or something like that? You have to like recall it and throw Time it out. Time to hunt, little guy. Anyway, you can like jump to it. Need a new angle on this. And you've got a double jump as well, it seems. Um. Oh, actually shows the thing as well. No hit markers at all. So yeah, it's indestructible. And the last one is the sniper. Um, sort of works different than every other one because it's got five charges, I guess. But because I've heard a few things about it, I'm just going to grab it and after one. Uh, you can see about it later, but I'll. Look. So, um, yeah, basically the same as like a normal zoom in thing because you've got like medium optics, so. It's three times and above, I guess. So yeah, uh, five bullets. Uh, you got your headshot of 75. Uh, your body shot of 50. And then you've got 100 on the body, once you've well, marked them. And 150. All right, so next thing I want to do is the R through one. Cool thing about it. Um, 25 damage headshot. So, I want to check something with the sniper. As you saw, um, when you hit a person, or tag him, you do more damage. 
or something like that. So it does it work with normal guns as well? Uh, not as much. It is more damage, but not really that much more. Uh, might as well alt excel or something like that. So just as basic, something like that. Uh, we've got 25 headshots, 14 body, and then 11. Uh, something like that. Uh, let's clear them up and get a new one. Okay, uh, body shot this one. So now we've got the 28, the 16, and the 12. So three more on the head, two more on the body, one more on the legs. Um, go and check with other weapons because it could just be the center base or something. Um, yeah. The gun with the most damage is the Kroger. Okay, so Kroger has 280 or something like that. Let's get a nice body. And now we can headshot. Okay, 320. I'm just gonna check that that's... Okay, so because Crave is like a big enough damage that you can actually tell the difference between it. Uh, I have worked out that it's uh, 1.15 times um, if you tag it. So with most things, it won't be that much damage, but with the sniper, uh, yeah, it's basically double. So I'm not quite sure, but I reckon the R99 does the least damage. Besides from the charge rifle kick thing, but I don't reckon I could um, measure that in any way. Um, right, I should probably get rid of this guy. Yeah, it does like plus one or something like that, so didn't really get what I wanted. I was wondering if there's uh, a gun which has a low enough damage that it wouldn't increase at all. Charge rifle time. Still doing the free for tick, so technically, um, but I will. I think it still does the 116 or something like that. Yeah, like no thing. Uh, it's slightly more, but that's just from the last thing. Oh uh, well. A uh, few other things I need to talk about, I guess. Um, changes to this. Uh, revive teammates or something like that, but it gives more health and shield. Uh, so it's basically the backpack and the backpack change as well. Uh, the backpack, large things large medical supplies or something like that you get an extra stack uh this one is still the same and this one is still the same as well so i'll show you without the backpack then i'll show you with the backpack so normally it's one of those uh then it's one of well, two of these each so that's what you're getting normally now with the backpack on uh one of those one of those and one of those yeah uh two things kids three batteries Three med kits. Uh, these two were back in season zero or maybe season two. I'm pretty sure these were free stackable, but they're not now. Oh well. Okay, hop up changes and all that. Um, there's only really one, and that's because they added it to a different gun. Um, yeah, it's not a new hop up. Uh, we got the 30-30 here or something like that. Might as well give it a heavy mag. Okay, uh, the new thing for the 30-30 is the skull piercer or something like that. A uh, skull piercer deals more um, headshot or something. Under that, uh, with this, 120. 88 like that, and. 74. Oh, and also with another thing with it, uh, last season, well, two seasons ago, uh, the 3030 could either have the shutter caps or the dual shell reloader thing or something like that. 
they have decided to add one of those things to the base form of the gun. Uh, you don't need the hopper. And sadly, I have to reload to show you. Yeah, so it's got the dual shield reloader or something like that. Uh, apparently it's been taken off the master or something like that. And yeah. Have fun hip firing with this. <laughs> we'll talk about the red weapons or something like that uh three changes have been made uh first of all you've got the uh rampage or something like that if you get it out of the care package it will come with like a firm light that you have to pick it out well it comes in the same slot as the rampage the firm light thing anyway um there's a few changes with it it was like 26 headshot or something like that Wait, no, it was 26 body, now it's 28. I don't really remember that headshot, but now it's 42. And I'm not sure about the ammo, but if I get a thermite, um, I think it's more because it was like 36 bullets before, or something like that. Uh, now it's uh, 38. Yeah, you've got two bullets left after your film. Uh, next gun, the bow. The bow. Uh, well, I can show you this. I mean, technically it was in last season or something like that. Does a fair bit of damage, so that's cool. Hit indicators as well, or something. Uh, but it goes one at a time or something like that. Reload could be a bit faster than normal, but not sure really. The last one is the bow, but... Yeah, it's got both its top ups even though you can't really see it. Uh, so yeah, I might as well show you. And the other one is the Shadow Caps. Which you can't do tempo and shutter caps at the same time, but. Uh... Oh, wait, no, you can. I might as well talk about the other two weapons with the. Uh, the skull pick. You got the longbow or something like that. I'm pretty sure it's the same, as in, it doesn't do that much more damage. 130 is actually a pretty decent amount. 119. Okay, 20 more damage or something like that. And the big change that not sure how people are feeling about it, but I feel like it probably makes sense. Uh, the wingman is now a sniper thing or something like that. Oh, plus it also has the booster loader in it as well. Booster loader is now purple. Not sure really, but yeah. Anyway, um, oh yeah, considering snipers are the highest thing, it doesn't really change anything. Wait, no, it does. Uh, you can now find the digital thread things over here, even though only the wingman can use it. Uh, there was something about it's 99 damage or something. Well, it's 90 damage headshot normally, but with this, it's 101. Yep, they boosted the headshot on this. Two shots for red shield. Give it up for that. One of the most broken weapons and they decide to make it even more powerful. Is it still 45 for body? Yeah, it's still 45 and 41. And headshot normal, 97. I thought uh, they were meant to put the normal headshot down, but the... Uh, Skull Pierce a headshot up. Alright, so you can have like 11 shots instead of 9 or something like that. But still, 97 and 113 of the wingman. Talking about other overpowered weapons that got an upgrade to them. Okay, so we've got the R99 and the Vault. Alright, so the Vault being the weapon that recently came out of the care package, and the R99 uh, being one of the most overpowered weapons, 
Uh, both got uh, this equipment or something like that. Uh, large hip fire spread reduction or something like that. So yeah, uh, you remember being uh, sprayed, uh, hip fire sprayed or something like that by the R99, or maybe they aimed down sight. Um, stuff doing that apparently. So also on the list you've got the Prowler or something like that who's also uh, got like this thing to it, like really Prowler's the only one that needed it because this thing was pretty terrible or something like that normally. Probably overpowered. You know which SMG does not have it? Yeah, uh, the car SMG it can only take uh, one of these things. Um, yeah, that's it. Does not get the hipfire thing. Even though, uh, two of the most overpowered, uh, SMGs of all get it. And also this one. <laughs> Weird that they do it, but apparently they did. Just a little experiment uh, to see how it actually goes. Uh, we'll be completing the car to the R99. Okay, that's much better. But then, where did it go? Oh, well. If you put this on, I don't know if you want to know, they've also still got the barrel stabilizer things. Uh, those are for like the where is it? After one or something like that, that's got it. Um, your scout, that's got it. Your sniper's got them as well. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Double tap is back. Also, you should talk about the shotgun as well. Alright, so I'm not sure which one's more broken between these uh, tap fire and double tap. Okay, that's normal. And here's double tap. You know, I'm always thinking double tab might be more overpowered, but I sort of stuffed it up a bit. Yeah, I thought it was just going to hold down. For so the shotgun I wanted to talk about was the Eber 8 or something like that. Uh, so first of all, you may have noticed that it now takes a stock. Which is sort of weird, but uh, well, uh, grab one of those and also one of those things. Pretty sure Eber 8 is full auto already, so... Okay, so that's purple, and this is double tap. I also want to change if they've changed the head fire thing. They made it worse. Apparently the stock is just like faster pull out or something like that. And also faster reload. You can tell there's a good second or something like that taken off. Alright, so one thing I've noticed about the Eve Ray, then the Eve Ray about the stock, is with this, or well, with purple stock, um, you can do this or something like that, but if you try it with this, you're always going to change to your next weapon. Uh, you have to wait a bit longer, like half a second longer or something like that, but with this, um, pretty much like point of a second that you can do it. Alright, so I got a bit distracted there with all the other gun changes and all that, uh, that I didn't really give my thoughts or some like that on Vantage. Uh, mostly my thoughts on Vantage is she's absolutely stacked or some like that. Uh, she's got this one, which is pretty much, uh, your main weapon or some like that when you've got it. Uh, well, it's 50 for a start, but then 100 body shot, 150 headshot or some like that. Uh, yeah. Plus, she's also got this movement thing, or something like that. And then, also with this, she can... Well, not sure about the bullet indicator or something like that. See where shots land, I can really get that. But, uh, what she does have is... She can tell, like, teammate's shield, or what colour shield they've got, or something like that. So, basically, 
Uh, you could just be scanning someone with your sniper or any log we well, weapon with medium optics or long range. And you can see that they may have grey shields or something like that, so you're easily going to go for them or something like that. You could see someone with red shields and think maybe you won't go for them. I reckon they overstacked her, giving her a lot or something like that. She's got movement, she's got damage, and she's got scan on her. She's a scan character, but she's got everything, really. Uh, and also, um, with her little eyepiece or something like that, you can also pick up where people are, or something like that. So you could just have your uh, optics scan a whole area, and you'll probably pick up someone. So it's basically a thermal, but not exactly a thermal. And also, uh, her ult is that powerful or something like that. Uh, a YouTuber that I watch has played a fair bit of advantage. And while in Kings Canyon, uh, they have decided that they're just going to jump, uh, land on an old tower or something like that. Uh, because the whole 50, then 100 or something like that. Uh, and also, if you want to know the alt accelerant, uh, the blue things, uh, they can give you two bullets or something like that with a sniper. So anyway, this is Jenna 450. My name's Zay. Let's do it again. Signing out. Okay, for the store. Uh, so I'm pretty sure these two are both recolors or something like that. This was a starter pack thing, sort of. Um, not exactly sure what this was, but. That was like three skins. This might have actually been part of it. I think that was a rape skin as well, but oh well. Uh, the Valkyrie launch bundle thing is back or something like that. It was a pretty cool skin. Oh, that's cool. Uh, I do like the little rabbit thing. But anyway, uh, the spider thing is back. Alright, so I feel like I've already talked about both of these before. Uh, Fuse, his starter fact thing is back, so that's cool. Um, had a nice massive skin, I think, but not sure really. Uh, besides than that, uh, first we've got the hype drive or something like that. Yeah, it's a decent one, but I sort of like the alley invasion better. Uh, next we've got the fragid or something like that. Uh, again, it's sort of the same as that one. Uh, not as good as alley invasion, but I do like the green. Uh, then for Rafe, we've got vengeance seeker or something like that. Uh, followed by Flashpoint. Yeah, it's been in release a few times. Uh, the Caustic, apparently he's got a... Uh, I don't really know if this was an event skin or not. Uh, nice skin though. 